Hello everyone, welcome to the 5th episode of the Unreal Engine Reactive Turn-Based Combat System series. So this is a tutorial series that I'm working on a game in the same style as uh, Clayobsk Expedition 33. So in this episode, this is what we are going to work on. Now here you can see we have these uh, widgets that represents each character and as you can see we have a different head image this image that represents the character so earlier we had a similar icon for all three characters but now we have different icons different faces so we are going to create a data asset that that define all the data of each character each different player character and then we are going to use that to load different image into the widget in the runtime so that's what we are going to work on in this episode right before we get started let me quickly remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all of the thousands of projects i have done from my channel once you become a member you will be able to access everything without any limits and here is the full playlist of this series uh, i will add all the future episodes also into this playlist and yeah i will leave links to everything in description below right so this is what we have at the moment here you can see the selected character here is enlarged a little bit and if i switch the character selected it changes the size so we can see which one is selected and also you can see even though we have multiple different character meshes we have the same icon so today we are going to work on how to have different icons so basically we are going to implement a way to define uh, basic information about each different character and how to bind it to the ui all right so to do that let's go to blueprint and here i'll create a new folder data and i'll create a type a class data asset and i'm going to choose primary data asset so i'm going to use this class to define all the information relevant to the character basic information at least for now uh, so later on we might add additional variables into this but for now let's just create, create something basic so da character data so usually you use to you use data assets to store things like read only information just like a data table but here this is more like uh, one row of data table because data tables can contain many rows okay now the first thing i would need all right id let's say and maybe a string and uh name this would be like a display name and then Head icon. I'll use texture to D. I'll use a soft object reference so that it will need be it will not be loaded. We will have to load it only when we need it. Okay. Sell. Now we have the data asset. Now using this, let's create a. We have the data asset class. Now I'll create a data asset using this character data data asset type da aurora because the character's name is aurora so if i open this now i can assign a character id i'll just call it aurora name also aurora and as the head icon i have this head aurora head i'll assign that okay and so you may have noticed that i created 
images for these different characters these represents icons for these other characters that i have here so, uh, this character is frozen heart and the other one is a spring ceremony okay i'll duplicate or a person or a spring so I just got it for some awesome. push is called process and as the icon this one and here spring spring just a spring all right now we have all the data we need let me close this and then uh, let me open this character blueprint clm base character and here i'll add the data set character data and i'll use the type character data da character data Okay, now as the default one, I'll assign Aurora, but here I will override that. Oh, I need to make it instance editable. Yeah. Now this is frozen, and this is spring. Okay right now we have assigned data sets relevant data sets for each character the next thing is now i'm going to read from that data asset and populate this hard widget that we get here so we will have different icons for different characters right to do that let's go to ui and character stats here do we already have uh initialize no we don't i'll add a function or oh, maybe an event function is fine it's fine initialize character data and here i'll pass a reference to the PPCL no, CLM base character. So this will represent the character that is represented by this widget. What should I call it? Character. Okay. Now from the character we can get data asset. Uh, character data. And from the character data, right now I just need to change this image. ING head, it's already a variable. We can get the head icon. ING head set brush from soft texture. Let's try this and see what happens. Oh, so we need to call this from match hut. Here, 
this is where we create widgets the WP character of well we could actually do something like this here here we can remove this call initialize character data and i'll promote this character data to a variable and i'll make it instance editable and explore so on as well and here also i'll add a validity check as well Right. And then if I refresh this, I get this character variable. So this is the widget, this is the character. Yeah. We can pass a reference like this. Alright, now if I play. Okay. Now we have different character icons for different characters basically we i need to increase the brightness of this a little bit so here just increased a little bit so we have some more sharpness into the images so they look a bit more clear in the icon against this darker background but maybe you can add idle outline too into the texture itself but right now this is good enough okay so just like the same way if you want to add any more attributes to the character like a name or a default base health value or whatever some description you can add additional uh, variables into this data asset and initialize them accordingly in the data asset itself so yeah you can add uh, variables to the data asset class and then you can initialize them in the asset so this is the class this is the uh, object and then you can use wherever you want so yeah but i just want to lay the groundwork for this uh, for the architecture of the system that we are building all right so thanks for watching as always, updated project files will be available for download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.